Here's a preview of what you're gonna see in just one day in Rome. If you're looking for the perfect itinerary in Rome, you've just found it. This itinerary is perfect for anybody who wants to make the most of their time in Rome, even if it is for just one day. This itinerary's first stop will be the Vatican. It's important to get there just as soon as you can in the morning. The Basilica opens up at 7 a.m. and we want to get in line no later than 8 a.m. because if we show up be between 7 and 8, chances are the lines are going to be less than 5 or 10 minutes. But as we get later in the morning, 9, 9, 30, 10, it's not uncommon to wait one, two, even three hours just to get inside the Basilica. So if you don't want to spend your whole morning in line, let's get up and get there by 8 a.m. at the very latest. So once you've come through the Vatican, you're gonna come out and we're gonna to head to a metro station where we're gonna catch the metro and head to the Colosseum. So you're gonna head right through this main alleyway here. And the good news is a lot of people will be doing the same thing. It's kind of like you just follow the crowd and it will take you right to the uh, metro station, which is right over in this direction here. And that's where we're gonna hop on the metro again and head to Termini. So one thing I want to point out, you might be getting hungry. You can jump into one of these uh, little shops and grab a croissant or something. But if you want a little pizza, one of my favorite pizzerias is right on this road. Once you cross this kind of like square here, the very first right, there's right here is a place called Pen Pizza MPO. It's a little place, it's got a few tables. It's, you serve these little pizzas and uh, they're really, really good. So they're cheap, they're like five or six euros. Anyway, a good place to grab a bite to eat if you're hungry at this point, grab that or just grab a croissant. But either way, you need to head after that, you need to head onto the metro, which is right here. It's the Ottaviano Station. Okay, so we're here at the Vatican and we're going to take a metro directly all the way here to the Termini train station. And we're on line A right now and we need to switch to line B and they cross here at Termini. So when you get to Termini, you're going to hop onto line B and you're going to head to the Colosseum, which is really close to, the, to here, maybe, maybe a five or 10 minute metro ride, but it's right here. And there's a station called Coliseum Exit or Coliseum Station and that's where we're gonna exit and we're gonna start our walking tour from here right at the Coliseum. So this is the itinerary I created on an app called Kamut. Kamut is a paid app, but the good news is in Rome it's free to use because it's one of those demo cities. So I'm gonna leave a link to this particular route in the, uh, in the description of the video. So what you want to do is take that and then it will give you GPS directions exactly where to go so you're not going to get lost. It'll take you from one site to the next site. It's super easy to follow. But we're going to start here at the Colosseum just briefly and head up to, this is the Via Imperial Forum, up to Piazza Venezia, over to the Compadolio, over to Theater Marcello, through the Jewish Ghetto, over to Largo, Argentina, this is where Caesar was murdered, over to Campo dei Fiori, Piazza Navona, Pantheon, Trevi's Fountain, and finally the uh, Spanish Steps. So what we're going to do is we're going to explore the Colosseum a little bit. We're going to get some great views of the Colosseum, and then we're going to take a walk down what I think is probably Rome's prettiest walk, and that is down the Via Imperial Forum right here. It's really a nice street because there's limited traffic, only buses and taxis are allowed on this street. And there's lots of uh, street performers, lots to see. You see the, the forum on both sides. It's just such a beautiful walk. And uh, so take your time as you walk down this street. We're gonna head to a piazza down here called Piazza Venezia. Let me turn that around a bit. Now you might recognize this big monument here. This is the um, Victor Manuel Monument. It's absolutely massive. So as we walk around this corner here, we're gonna head over to a piazza that was designed by Michelangelo. Super interesting. And uh, there's like two stairways here. You see one here going to this cool church. And then there's another one going right into this piazza. This is the piazza called the Compidolio. It's designed by Michelangelo. great things to do is just walk right to the right of this, this building here just go to the right and there's a little perch right down here that you've got great views of the Roman Forum mm -hmm. 
As you exit and come back, you can also see some really interesting views from this side as well. But when you're done here, we're gonna to need to back down these stairs and we're gonna continue on down this road. So we're gonna continue on around the corner. I'll just back out here a little bit, see it. So we came around the building here and then the GPS is gonna tell you where to go. It's really simple, but you're gonna go here to the Theater Modercello right here. Once we get in there, you're gonna take this like path through here, this dirt path, kind of, I think it's a cement, but let me see here. And we're gonna walk through some of Rome's, what I think are some of the neatest uh, ruins right through here. And we're gonna make our way into the Jewish ghetto. So as you walk through the Jewish ghetto, there's a lot of nice restaurants. And if you're really hungry, you can stop here and grab a bite to eat. But one thing I do recommend you do is you go to this Jewish bakery. They've been selling pastries for 300 years. It doesn't have a name on the building, but the pastries are there are amazing. It's not about presentation, so it's not like the typical Roman bakery where presentation is really important along with taste. These just taste good. They don't necessarily look that great, but they are incredible, so I strongly recommend you uh, try the Jewish pizza. Here's the Jewish pizza. It doesn't look like pizza, maybe, but look on the bottom. It even looks like it's burnt, but it's actually just perfect. I've had these before. That's kind of how they always are. And inside, So good when you bite into them. It's like nothing you've ever tried, and it's not like regular pizza, it's more of a pastry. Um, not super sweet, but super good. Anyway, as you come through here, you're gonna continue on this road, and we're gonna come out to this main road. Once you get out to this main road, the GPS will take you out there. It's just a short walk, maybe five minutes, and we're gonna be at Largo, Argentina. This is the piazza where Julius Caesar was stabbed in 44 BC, and he was murdered there. So right around the corner here, there's a place called Pizza Florida. It's right down here. So it's kind of a hole in the wall place, but they have great pizza by the slice. And uh, you can get big slices, little slices. You tell them how much you want. But they have tons of flavors to choose from and it's incredible pizza. So I strongly recommend you go in there and it's kind of a to-go place. So what you're gonna do is you're right in here, grit the pizza, then walk across here. And from there, you can kind of look over this square and there's a cat sanctuary there as well, so you're gonna see a lot of cats. It's kind of fun to look at the cats, eat pizza, and just enjoy the atmosphere. Once we're done with pizza, even if you don't get pizza, go and take a look at it. But once we're done, we're gonna kind of head back to where we just came from, um, in just a little bit. Let me get a little perspective here. And we're gonna walk around this corner, and if you're on, using a GPS, it's pretty simple. It's gonna tell you to turn, and we're gonna walk right down this street. It's not very far at all, maybe a five minute walk or so. And we're going to head down to the Campo dei Fiori. It's Rome's oldest outdoor market. Let's take a look. So before we leave, there's two things I want to point out. In the corner here, in the, in the piazza, whether the market's open or not, this is always here. This forno is going. It's a little shop. Um, so there's a little place called Forno right here. They make lots of breads. It's an oven and they make breads and pizzas and pastries. What I recommend you do is right next door to it right here, they take the, the, the pizza Bianca that they make here, they take it over here and then they make it into sandwiches and the sandwiches here are my favorite in Rome. They're very inexpensive, four to five euros. The sandwiches are just super, super good. The bread is made like within minutes of you eating it. Super great. I'm just finishing this panino, this uh, pizza sandwich. So good. That pizza Bianca is just perfect. It's got a nice little slightly salty flavor right on the outside. It's got lots of mozzarella in there. The prosciutto crudo, super, super good. If you want to grab a pizza like a more traditional Roman, like stereotypical pizza, there's a Napolitan style pizza place right here that's very good. And you can eat, eat out here in the patio and they also have interior dining. And it was probably gonna take you, you know, about an hour to maybe a little less uh, if you wanna grab pizza there. 
but that's more like the full size pizza. And if you want to try a Napolitano style pizza, it's best in Naples, but this is a close second. It's very good. So from the Campo dei Fiori, we're going to head over to another famous piazza called Piazza Navona, which is only about 300 meters right to Piazza Navona. Let's take a look. So before we head off to the next site, I want to point out something. Right down this road here, there's a little road, there are two places to grab great dessert. There's one called Two Sizes, which let's book down here a little bit. It's right. I think it's right here. Anyway, there's a place called Two Sizes where you can get great tiramisu. And just up the road from that, they have a place called Frigidarium, which has some of the best gelato. And uh, definitely you swing by there. It's time to get gelato. You're in Rome. This is one of the best gelato rias right here, for sure. There's a lot of them. This is one of my favorites. But um, yeah, do that. Maybe come back out to this piazza after you grab your tiramisu or gelato. Enjoy your ice cream as you uh, check out the piazza and watch all the all the people walk by, kind of a fun thing to do. So from here, we don't have very far to the next monument. In fact, it's right up this road here. You might recognize it. This is the Pantheon. This is a very interesting and one of my favorite buildings in all of Rome. It's absolutely massive. And uh, let's go down and take a look. So one thing I might recommend to you do if you're, you know, let's say you didn't get pizza, you're hungry, um, right here, there's a little sandwich shop, shop and it's called Lantico Venaio. It's uh, originated in Florence, but anyway, it's very popular here in Rome too. And what people do is you grab a sandwich. The only thing I'd say the negative is sometimes you gotta wait, you know, 30 minutes just to get a sandwich. Um, but the nice thing is if once you get your sandwich, you just walk down, you take it, and you sit down here on these steps and enjoy the sandwich with you know, tons of other people doing the same thing, but uh, it's super great atmosphere and it's, it's, you know, something that's great to do, honestly, it's fun. So from the Pantheon, we have about a 10 or 15 minute walk over to Trevi's Fountain. So once we leave the Trevi's Fountain, we're gonna head to our last stop and we're gonna make our way over to these Spanish steps. So this is the last stop on our itinerary. So when you're done exploring the Spanish steps, it's easy to get on the metro. See this here, this is the metro. You just walk around the building, walk right down this aisle, hop on the metro. The metro will take you back to Termini Station and so many other locations in Rome. Give it a thumbs up if you found this helpful, and if you like videos about Rome, then consider subscribing. To the next one, alla prossima, ciao.